Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll talk about how to make a rotary processor that's suitable for processing both film and paper. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hello, good day to all of you all. So today I'm going to talk about my DIY rotary uh, processor. Somebody asked me how I make this, so I thought I'd make a video just to share with you how the different parts are being put together. Okay, first of all, the base of the processor is simply two pieces of hardwood. I choose hardwood because I need them to be stable. I need them to be able to uh, withstand some uh, wetness, uh, some chemical stain and all that. So I choose hardwood. Right. So on each piece of the uh, support base, I have a uh, three ball bearing support block as you can see here, right? I just have enough wood to so called raise them up higher uh, so that the wheel can spring without touching the base itself. So as you can see, because of the ball bearing, the actually the wheel actually turned quite smoothly, right? So how it the turn is uh, to this. 10 mm uh, screw rod, right? Okay, so the wheel itself is uh, the wheel that we use for trolley. So, what I need to do is that just insert them through the rod. I use some washer and nut to tighten the wheel, okay? So, if you don't want this wheel to move along the rod, you can actually put in some um, screw or thread. Tightening glue from Loctec, huh? right? So you can just uh, put a few drops here, a few drops there, and uh, this thread will not, this nut will not move, and hence the wheel will stay in place. Huh? For however, for some of the the wheel to cater for to cater for different drums of different size, huh? you may need to move some of the wheel. So you can leave this uh, this uh, thread. Uh, able to move right of course what I will do in the near future is to put in to drill in some uh, some holes here and put a tightening nut uh. so once I move it to the desired position I can tighten it and the wheel will not move right? right so you can see this is quite a flexible system so I have three wheels on both of my base uh. so six in total because my drum is actually quite long right but to show you I have I can put an AP drum here right I can put a stainless steel drum here okay and I can also put a big uh, drum right this is actually a paper drum right okay I can use it to um, process up to a piece of 20 by 24 paper of them but for this one I mainly use it to uh, process my 8 by 20 film okay so let's see how it spin like right, you can see that once I turn on the motor the drum spin quite smoothly right So same thing, if I remove this big drum and I put in an AP drum, it will also spin. Right? Of course, uh, for some of these shorter drums, there's a tendency that it may so-called move for, uh, horizontally uh, and fall off the wheel. So what we can do here is that just find a, put something heavy and strong on both ends so that the wheel will just move in between these uh, two strong uh, blocks. Right, okay. So for the stainless steel, it's the same thing. So it is just a demo, so I don't have the cover for this. Uh, just want to show you that you can take drums of different size. Okay. So the other component of this uh, blocks is actually the this tiny metal strip here. That this one is actually to allow me to adjust the distance between these two blocks if somehow the drum is narrower i can actually uh, put the two blocks nearer to one another right okay 
So for the motor system, it's actually quite simple. I use a car motor, no, a, car, a car wiper motor that is uh, quite strong. I got it from Taobao and I connect it directly to the 10mm uh, uh, screw rod uh, by using a, what we call a shaft coupler. Right, so it's on both end, right? Uh, I mean, it's uh, you put in the rod on one end and the other end go directly to the motor shaft itself. Right, so no, very simple, no uh, belts or pulley here. Straight connection to the rod itself. And for this wiper motor, has some wire. Huh? So I think you can adjust the speed of rotation and all that. But based on my test, I use these two wire. Right, and it's connected very simply to a 12 volt uh, lead acid battery of course it's uh, rechargeable right so I can bring put this inside a, a wet dark room uh, without uh, getting too worried about get, getting a electricity shock and all that uh. okay so the electronics part is not really put in place yet. Uh, I just have an on off switch that will on and off the motor. So you can add in the electronics to do a few things. For example, to change the direction of uh, rotation uh, so that the air agitation will be more even. You can also set the timing like after certain uh, minutes, the rotation will stop and then an alarm can be sound off. That, things like that. Okay, I plan to put them in, in place. If I um, get that done, I will update you guys again. Okay, that's all for now. I hope it will be helpful if you uh, decide to make your own processor. Any question, just leave a comment. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. Please also share and like this video. Take care and I see you at my next video.